You can relax and do what I believe is best hold Ethereum and Bitcoin for 10 years and then walk away. In my opinion, these extremely long-term investors are the only ones who could pull it off with ease. Everyone, hold on a second. We can all agree that the cryptocurrency market is always moving. But with so many newsletters to pick from, how can you find the one that's right for you? The transparency and ease of use of Bitcoin Zella make it stand out. Whether you're an expert in the crypto realm or just starting out, we've made sure that everyone can dig in. Guess who's keeping tabs on us? Ow. The man behind the smash hit Rich Dad, Poor Dad Robert Kiyosaki. The best part is that it's free. And we'd like to use this occasion to thank everyone who has put their faith in us. If you subscribe right now, you'll get all the updates at no cost. Rather from merely following trends, strive to be the first. Get A. Head start with Bitcoin Zella by subscribing today. In today's video, Dan Tapiro, who is the managing partner, chief executive officer, and investor of Tent Holdings and One Roundtable Partners, explains why he thinks digital assets and Bitcoin are some of the greatest financial opportunities he has ever seen. A half. Fun. There was a sea change in the summer, you know, contrary to his statements two years ago, Larry Fink now considers Bitcoin to be a global asset, an important global asset. Cryptocurrency, whistler fraud, and money laundering. We are all aware of the $10 trillion wealth manager. He was already aware that it was going to be an ETF and that they would be a major sponsor before he even saw the comments. All 11 of the ETFs were released on January 11th. And that has truly changed the game. Think of it this way. If you want to invest in Bitcoin in the future, you could tap into the 50 to $100 trillion that are sitting in equities and brokerage accounts all around the globe. In the past, you had to either crack Gemini or create an account with Coinbase. It was something that some people were quite fine with. Everyone on the crew who is 50 and over has a stock account and works with RI, Hayes is a broker, and now with the touch of a button, they may become Bitcoin owners. We had high hopes for its impact, but it has had a far greater ripple effect on people's perspectives in the area. In addition, I can speak from personal experience when I say that we have never promoted our funds. Our 10 T1RT funds now have 1.4 billion AM. Direct marketing to US colleges was never our intention. Although we do have two or three institutions, they are all run by individuals. Someone I know in the teaching profession in Texas is a huge investor, and his Michigan pension fund, MERS, is as. Well, on the other hand, we have never before advertised to them. Very intriguingly, New York-based financial institutions have been interested in speaking with me about our work since I had the idea for this fund in the middle of 2019. Such a reversal break has never happened to me before. Amazingly, they are actually beginning to move swiftly which seems like a contradiction in terms. Swift action. Taken by us institution. The ETF is theirs. They are able to track their client's interest through the ETF. And in case you didn't know, we're the only growth equity fund globally that specializes on digital assets, blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, and the Web 3.0. Equity and private equity are concepts that they grasp. As a result, the businesses in which we have invested are far more advanced. Revenue-wise, they're probably making at least $40, $50 million. The term venture is too strong. One last thing, in my opinion, Bitcoin and Ethereum are core assets that have been there for a while. They will have ETFs for that reason. An important component of the future, in my opinion, is the ETF. All the other. Digital currencies are more like side projects, full of guesswork and uncertainty. Solana isn't quite a core asset just yet, but it's on the right track. Since I've witnessed it firsthand, I'm becoming increasingly confident as the most sluggish sector of our global economy, the U.S. institutional sector, begins to show signs of interest. Anthony, I have no idea if you've been watching it, you seem to be sitting in New York constantly. As I indicated earlier, Dorado is usually a little outside of Greenwich, where I am. A crucial BTC price signal reaching eight-month lows has given Bitcoin a healthy reset to bullish sentiment. A prominent analyst on Chain College stated in a June 27th post on X previously Twitter that the Bitcoin mayor multiple was showing signs of repeating classic patterns. As of the now, Bitcoin is $40,000. However, the most recent 17% decline has been accompanied with an incredibly pessimistic outlook. The average hodler does not see a price turnaround, and the crypto dread in greed index is challenging 2024 lows. On the other hand, the mayor's multiple may be implying that a turnaround is within sight. To determine if it is a good time to buy or sell, the indicator compares the price of Bitcoin right now to its 200-day moving average. Originally indicated that prices below 2.4 should be considered buy signals. However, the price would have to be close to $140,000 for the mayor multiple to reach the 2.4 level. March 2021 was the last time BTC slash US hit 2.4. 
Even though the price of Bitcoin is $60.9,000 presently, up from $29.9,000 in October 2023, the Mayer multiple is at a level not seen since then. A portion of a company's commentary on Chain College, a positive resetting of sentiment to return to a pessimistic stance at twice the price. The floor price is of. Bitcoin are not necessarily the same as the extreme lows of the Mayer multiple. Midway through 2022, the indicator hit rock bottom at about 0.47, but the price didn't follow suit for another four months, marking the beginning of the market's downturn. Since the Mayer multiple isn't the sole valid buy indication. Right now, price strength is a hotly debated subject in June. Oversold levels have been observed on several time frames for Bitcoin's relative strength index RSI. The relative strength index RSI was at its current levels on the daily chart in August 2023, when other bull markets support trend lines such the short term. Holding cost basis were being violated in a manner similar to the current situation. Just over three months ago, when the RSI was at its current low, Bitcoin was consolidating just below the 30% critical resistance level. Joe, a well-known trader, touched on the subject in part of his most recent X post. Consolidation below 70 is likely to occur during the next three months at this point, happening again. In my opinion, the Bitcoin ETF already exists, and soon there will be an Ethereum ETF as well. If you want to know what Ethereum is and how it works, you should read Antonopoulos' book. It astounds me a little. Smart contracts, a new degree of comprehension is required. After you've gotten the hang of things and realized that a Purim is a fundamental asset, you may find yourself wondering things like, what the fuck is going on in this space? What are layer tubes, though? I know that Ethereum contains Bitcoin. Could you please explain ROAs? Could you please explain NFTs to me? How on earth could those mean coins be worth $60 billion? How is that happening? Mean coins get a lot of laughs, but when you think about work, there's more going on behind the scenes. Because there are so many, the next step is to investigate the various businesses operating in the area. I know one thing for sure though, and I say this all the time, there is nothing I know with absolute confidence, with a confidence level of 99%. There will be other major public crypto blockchain companies in the world in five years from now besides Quangbase. So, in my opinion, a number of the businesses in which we have invested begin to go public. The release of the Spot Ethereum Exchange Traded Funds ETF in the U.S. market is much anticipated by the cryptocurrency community as it has the potential to bring in large amounts of cash, according to some commentators. Between CIO Matt Hogan is bullish on the future of these investment products and expect spot Ethereum ETFs to get massive amounts of capital in the first few months of trading. The first 18 months of Ethereum ETP's market debut will see net flows of $15 billion according to Hogan's June 26th X post study. A comprehensive evaluation of existing data, including a comparison of Ethereum's market cap, is the basis of Hogan's $15 billion prediction. Ethereum Trust, ETHE, Conversion and Spot Bitcoin ETF are traded on the international crypto ETP market by Grayscale. According to the researcher, investors would put money into Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs in around the same ratio as their respective market caps. Investors will likely put money into Bitcoin ETPs and Ethereum ETPs at a rate roughly proportional to their market caps unless we hear otherwise. 1.266 billion Bitcoins. 26% of the market and $432 billion for Ethereum, which accounts for 74% of the market. Please be aware that Hogan only considers the market caps of the two largest cryptocurrencies when calculating the percentages. Make sure you subscribe to Bitcoin Seller as well. Every day at no cost to you, the most crucial news stories will be delivered to your inbox. For some reason, you still haven't subscribed. Subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up are great ways to show your appreciation for daily updates.